1990, the advanced senior biology classes of Upper St. Clair High School, taught by Mr. Edward Callahan, conducted a second annual ecology study of the portion of McLaughlin Run Creek located directly behind the township municipal building. Each of the three sections were assigned a 100 meter segment of the stream to study. The classes were further divided into five groups. Each group sampled a different portion of physical, chemical, and biological factors of the stream. Group one spokesperson will be Jennifer Graham. Group one sampled the vertebrate populations of the ecosystem, both in and out of the water. The majority of the fish collected were creek chubs with two other members of the genus Neutrophis represented, but too small to identify. Two amphibian species were collected, a grass frog and an American toad. It was gratifying to find amphibians since the loss of this sensitive group is usually a sign of ser serious pollution problems. Several bird species were sighted in the area which included crows, black-capped chickadees, a banded kingfisher, a song sparrow, blue jays, several house finches, robins, and house sparrows. Several mammal species were also spotted and recorded which included gray squirrels, fox squirrels, eastern chipmunks, an eastern cottontail rabbit, a woodchuck, a short-tailed shrew, and the remains of a rat. Group 2 spokesperson will be Carrie Rappaport. Group 2 sampled the invertebrate population both in the water and on the banks and found quite a diversity. The majority of the invertebrates collected were located in the soil and on the shrubbery of the stream banks. A species of flatworm known as planaria was, col was collected. The annelid worms were represented by both the common earthworm and also freshwater leeches. There were many species of mollusks collected, including three species of snails and slugs. By far the largest group of invertebrates sampled were members of the phylum Arthropoda and primarily class Insecta. Many of the major orders of insects were represented, including Diptera, which includes the flies and mosquitoes, Hymenoptera, the bees and wasps, Hemiptera, the stink bugs, Coleoptera, the beetles, Orthoptera, the crickets and grasshoppers, Lepidoptera, the moths and butterflies, Formicidae, the ants, and several others. Many of the insects collected were in larval stages. The arachnids were represented by the terrestrial wolf spider, the house spider, and the garden spiders. The crustaceans were represented by crayfish, freshwater shrimp, and pill bugs, or isopods. Group 3 spokesperson will be Jennifer Headley. Group 3 sampled the vegetation. Several species of algae were classified, including Protococcus, Formidium, Spirogyra, and Cladophera. Fungus and molds located in and near the water were collected but deteriorated before they were identified. Most of the plants identified are classified in the division Tracheophyta. There was a wide variety of herbaceous plants sampled on the banks, including plantain, dandelion, nightshade, elderberry, ragweed, wild carrot, jewelweed, fox grape, wild strawberry, goldenrod, and several, several species of perennial grasses. Woody plants identified included sycamore, red maples, sugar maples, and American elms. Group 4 sp spokesperson will be Bryce Holsinger. Group 4 sampled the physical factors of the stream. The stream bed is composed primarily of rock and gravel, which also included a considerable amount of mining byproducts, such as coal, red dog, and shale. The water temperature was measured in several areas, which included shallow and deep water, sunny and shady water, slow and fast moving water. The temperature ranged from a low of 9 degrees Celsius to a high of 18 degrees Celsius, with the overall average temperature of 13 degrees Celsius. The temperature change was consi also consistent with the time of year we took this survey. The average width of the area sampled was 7 meters, and the water velocity was also measured and calculated to be an average of 0.75 meters per second. Water volume was determined to be moving at approximately q 2 cubic meters per second. Finally, a surveyor's transit was employed to determine the approximate slope of the stream bed. Elevation sightings were taken at both ends of the study area and the fall was between the calculated area was about 2 centimeters per meter. Group 5 spokesperson will be Elizabeth Wellington. Group 5 conducted a qualitative analysis of the chemical and biological pollutants that were present in the stream. Every section found contamination by fecal coliforms, which are bacteria that originate in the digestive tract of humans. The source of the pollutant was not discovered, but it could have originated from leaking sanitary sewers 
of possibly failing septic systems. The pH of the water was found to be 8.5, slightly alkaline. All three sections found silica and high levels of phosphates in the water. One section discovered traces of iron, and all three sections found concentrations of ammonia, nitrogen. Other pollutants that were tested for and found to be negative were chromium, copper, cyanide, chlorine, nitrates, and sulfides. The level of dissolved oxygen in the water was tested and found to average 11 parts per million. Finally, dissolved carbon dioxide was sampled and found to average 5 parts per million. In the final analysis, McLaughlin Run Creek is an important asset to the community. Children play in it, adults find it aesthetically pleasing, thus it serves to improve the quality of life in Upper St. Clair. The presence of pollutants and the absence of some of the more sensitive forms of life are a signal that work needs to be done to reestablish and maintain the water quality.